Hey, what's going on? Nick Unsworth here, and I'm a kick business coach, and I'm on an absolute mission to help you find your purpose in life, to help you love what you do for work every single day, to help you be the rock star that you are meant to be, to make more money than you ever thought was possible, and to have more time freedom so you can actually enjoy the life that you're living. I'm here to help you set your life on fire. Hey, what's going on, guys? Nick Unsworth here, and um, I'm super excited. And you know, I'm always super excited, I'm always fired up. But you know, if you guys have plugged into our last couple podcast episodes, you guys have been getting just really cutting innovative strategies about Facebook marketing. So July is the month of Facebook marketing because here's the outcome is, you know, you've heard it in the past couple episodes, but I wanna make sure that you guys have an asset for your business. You've got a Facebook marketing funnel so that whatever it is that's your gift or your passion or what you're really compelled or your calling in, you know, for work and what you want to do, that you've got the right strategy, strategy to get it out there and to earn revenue with it. Because at the end of the day, you could have the best products, the best services, or have the biggest heart and have the most passion for what it is that you do. But if you don't have the adequate strategies, it's just you're not going to be able to get it out there to the market. So being an expert at marketing is it will always serve you in the business. And so uh, if you haven't already, definitely go back and look at video one and video two with Brian Moran, our most our previous two episodes, 54 and 55, and definitely dive in and make sure that you guys have got up to speed on those because, you know, our mission with this podcast, our mission with our company and the coaching that we do is it's always to come back and, you know, think about, what are you doing right now? You know, and are you fully happy with your line of work? Did you wake up and just love it every single day? And whether that is true or not, you know, we want to help you get to that point. And I think that, you know, if you've, you've been listening to our podcast for a while, we're doing a lot to bring expert speakers to bring content to, to the table. And at this point, I just really hope that you've started to make that shift where you do have you know, that passion project that you're working on or you're making shifts in your business and you're doing what you feel that is your purpose. And so as you have that, you know, why we're focusing on Facebook marketing this month is to give you these tools so that you've got this one strategy that's proven to work so well. And so I just want to encourage you to further commit and, uh, you know, just dive into this session here with Brian Moran. And uh, if you haven't caught the other episodes, Brian is a really close friend. He is one of the most sought after Facebook marketing experts. And he's literally helped thousands of people take their passion, their project, and make it into one simple marketing campaign on Facebook. And to turn those, those engagements, those likes, into paying customers and that's just so helpful for your business so dive into video three with my main man brian moran focus plug in and i'll catch up with you guys very soon enjoy hey guys it's brian moran from get 10,000 fans and i want to welcome you back to video number three of the fan page funnel and in our last video we walked through each step of my facebook sales funnel that allows me to generate fifteen dollars and 42 cents per facebook fan that i snag on my fan page if you haven't seen those first two videos from this new series, stop this video right now and go watch those first two videos first. And in this video, I have a couple of promises to deliver on. Because in the last video, I promised that I would answer your biggest questions. You see, I knew publicly revealing my fan page funnel for the first time would lead to a lot of questions. It was inevitable. After all, I only had about 20 minutes to briefly cover the entire dang funnel. So first of all, thank you for all the emails, messages, and comments. I was overwhelmed by your positive feedback, your gratitude, and most importantly, your excitement about getting your business up on Facebook and finally using it to generate profits. And I'm extremely excited to dish out more training here in this video, all in preparation for the main event in a few days from now, when we will begin enrollment for the fan page funnel course. So now let's jump right in and start answering those toughest questions. You see, one of the most common questions that we received about the funnel so far is, once I have my funnel set up, how do I drive traffic to it? And that's a great question. You see, the whole purpose of creating this entire funnel is to be 100% sure that any traffic you send through that funnel is going to produce profits, aka paying customers. And while the fan page funnel course will cover over 13 new ways to drive tons of traffic through your funnel, let me show you just one test that I ran about a week ago that you can copy in about two minutes and start grabbing real targeted traffic just minutes from now, even if you don't have a single Facebook fan yet. You see, it all starts by going over to your fan page and writing a simple status update like this one. And see, this status update just has a link that's going back to one of our opt-in pages so that we can build our list. 
So what we did is we used something called Facebook's boosted posts, and you've probably heard or seen these being used before. You see, we boosted this post and selected just a few keywords that we wanted to target with that quick post. And then all you have to do is pick your budget to spend. So for this test, we chose to spend just 15 bucks. And here's exactly what happened. You see, this test didn't even spend our entire $15. It only spent 13. And we were able to drive 78 clicks to our opt-in page. And that came out to about 16 cents a click. But the cool part is those 78 clicks turned into three new customers that bought a $10 ebook that we were selling on the back end of our funnel. And because of the entire funnel that we had set up, just a few days later after our funnel was able to work its magic, that $13 boosted post turned into $721 in sales. So you might be asking, well, how did three sales turn into $721 in revenue, especially when we were selling a $10 report on the front end? And the answer to that is that's the secret behind the fan page funnel. It makes your fans, leads, and customers worth 10 to 20 times more than they normally are if you're marketing the traditional way. So it's not a bad return on investment, right? You see, here's another big question that a lot of you are asking. How do I reach my fans now without paying for ads? Well, let me show you one weird trick for reaching eight to 10 times as many fans with each and every status update that you put out there for free. So real quick, I want you to look at two status updates and tell me what the difference is. And here's status update A, and here's status update B. So take a quick look at these and tell me what's the difference. And obviously one of the big differences is the number of people that saw each one. The status update on the left had less than 3,000 people who saw that post, and the one on the right had nearly 40,000 people that saw the post. And here's another quick example of two status updates that had significantly different results, with the one on the left being only seen by 6,000 people, and the one on the right nearly 40,000 people saw that post. And here's what makes these different. It's all about the placement of the link. You see, you wanna post status updates on Facebook that have links in them because you wanna drive that traffic through a landing page. But where most people are going wrong is they're including the link in the actual status update. You see, the one on the left has the actual link as part of the status update. That's why you see that link box there with the picture of the report and the name of the link on the right. But the status update on the right does not have the link in the actual status update. The link is actually in the comments. And what's neat is if you're putting the link in the comments instead of in the status update, your posts are gonna get seen by five to 10 times the amount of fans. So the tip of the day is stop placing your links inside of your status updates. Put them in the comments and drive five to 10 times the amount of traffic to the landing page that you want. You see, the next big question we get is actually one of the most common. And this question sounds something like this. Brian, I've been using Facebook for a long time, but I have no results to show for it. There are likely a couple reasons you might not have been getting the results in the past. And number one is that you are pitched on amateur tactics when it comes to marketing on Facebook. You see, there's tons of people out there teaching Facebook marketing, but not actually doing it. And those are the ones that are selling you on tactics that either don't work or they're not sustainable in the long run. And these are tactics like mass friending people, scraping Facebook user IDs, focusing on just getting fans, being obsessed with just your engagement on your fan page, black hat tricks for hacking edge rank, for hacking Facebook ads, creating fake groups, fake fan pages, or fake Facebook accounts, and the list goes on and on. And reason number two you might not be getting results is that something in your funnel is broken. You're either not getting enough traffic through your funnel, your opt-in page isn't converting, and you're not getting one on your list, the content that you're giving people once they're on your list isn't what they want, your sales page isn't converting either because your copy is bad or the product you're selling isn't something that people want or think they want, you're not making enough revenue per customer, you're not maximizing your fan base or your email list, and the list goes on and on. And listen, here's the honest truth. Problem number one, those shitty tactics that amateur marketers are teaching you is pretty fixable. Just stop doing them. But problem number two, your funnel copy or offer being broken is not such an easy fix. You see, marketers can teach you all the tactics they want, but if you don't put together a killer offer that people will pay for, you're dead in the water. And there's nothing that marketers can do about it until now. You see, it's been my mission to finally solve that problem, to be able to guarantee that I could force anyone's funnel to rake in sales, even if they don't like marketing, even if they hate writing copy, and even if they're just starting out. And that's exactly why for the first time inside of the fan page funnel program, I'm going to be handing you my exact copy, my exact offers, and my exact word for word scripts for each one of these steps in the funnel. So that as long as you do the work and get everything set up, the chances of your funnel spitting out profits is higher than ever.
because I know exactly how rewarding this can be to see everything come together, to watch a community grow around a brand that you built, and to get paid to visualize and create innovative solutions for your marketplace. And trust me, there is no better feeling. And here's the last big question. Brian, what if I'm not a techie like you? Well, let me clear one thing up. I never studied graphic design, web development, coding, or anything like that. When I got started, I was completely in the dark. And I thought I needed all those crazy tech skills, but I was pleasantly surprised to find out how easy it was to set up a fan page, create a blog, or even write up a sales page. And the cool part is, today, it's 10 times easier than it was before. And the fan page funnel is no different. You see, you won't find a single tutorial on cPanel, HTML, CSS, or anything like that. And if you don't even know what those are, that's even better. Why? Because you don't need those things to start building a huge list and selling tons of products. Take it from Janine. She wrote in just a little while ago and said, get 10,000 fans totally simplified the mystery of building and creating a fan page. They took the IT stuff right out of it and basically made it a copy and paste system. Great for the no techs like me. And Karen Khan also wrote in and said, I love the easy way you guys taught me how to get opt-ins from my Facebook pages using custom tabs. I even did a custom tab for our African drum and dance group and started a mailing list and they all love it. Thank you. You see, it's stories like these and there are hundreds more where these came from, showing how easy this system really is to set up. And listen, what I really want to tell you is that you're ready, even if you don't feel like you are. And I can tell you for a fact that you're more qualified than I was when I started in 2009. So whether or not you decide to join us inside the fan page funnel or not, my only request is that you just start. Get moving. Start creating something and getting your business up and running. And if you think that working with me could help you even more, I would love to be a part of that journey with you. All right, cool. So as you guys can see, there's so many people that are getting results with this simple Facebook marketing funnel. And then think about for our business. You know, like I said before, I mean, we've built literally our entire business using these strategies. And so, um, again, just plug in, stay committed. You know, if you don't have a Facebook marketing funnel put together yet, I really hope that this is, uh, you know, part of a video series within Life on Fire TV that inspires you to do so. Go right at it, get her done, and uh, be sure to go to lifeonfire.com slash 56 for show notes on this particular episode. And, you know, when you think about it, you know, you start to see these podcasts and, and you start to see people getting results and you're hearing about other people that are making it happen and living the dream. And just don't let time go by where you're wishing that you were doing it. You know, dive in, implement the strategies that you're learning in this series. And if you have questions, just bring them to us. Um, I'm more than happy to answer questions. You know, again, on the show notes page, lifeonfire.com slash 56 ask questions and let us guide you, let us help you, let us respond to those comments on the blog and really help you get there. So our mission with Life on Fire is to help create success stories and you know we can't help you if we don't know you so come out of the you know the itunes world and you know whether you're watching from your car or you're at the gym and just plug in with us get connected let us help you to the best of our ability let's get to know each other and we want to help you create that facebook marketing funnel so i uh, hope you're having an amazing day and we'll hopefully catch up with you on the life on fire blog so lifeonfire.com slash 56. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers. I'm here to help you set your life on fire.